Hello and welcome back and in this lesson we are going to look at the piano roll. So this is basically going to be like a little overview of the piano roll. So let's see what it's all about. So first of all I started a blank project again and I'm going to add a new instrument. So in the browser I'm going to go to instruments and I'm going to add this subtractor analog synthesizer. I'm just going to drag it in there and you can see we get this little bass guitar uh, preset or patch in the sequencer as well. And obviously we can change that or we can load maybe one of these other um, patches. But let's have a listen to this one. If I just open the keys here at the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. Just like a nice basic bass guitar sound. All right, so let me show you how you can record your notes or draw your notes. So I'm going to zoom in here on the sequencer just so that we can kind of see this area a little bit better and then I'm going to close or hide the browser and I'm not too worried about the rack because I think the space that we have here is more than enough. So I'm going to go and I'm going to double click to create a one bar section here that we're going to edit. So first of all my resolution, my note resolution is set to one bar or just bar and then I'm going to double click in this area to create that section. So now I want to go into edit mode. So I can either click on edit mode here or I can double click on this to go into edit mode. And now I can see this is our piano roll. Okay. So if I hit space bar, it's going to play. And it's going to make sure that my play head is right at the beginning. And you'll see that looping is on here at the bottom and it's playing. And obviously there's no notes, so you won't be able to hear anything. So if I look at the top here at our note resolution inside of edit mode, it changed to an eighth and um, you can set this to anything you want. So 16, that's going to give you 16th notes in this one bar and you can change it to eight. It's going to give you eight notes in this one bar. So let's maybe put this on 16 and then we're going to draw some notes in here. So there are a couple of ways that you can draw your notes. You can either just double click and that's going to create a note and you can double click again somewhere else, double click again somewhere else and you kind of get the picture. And if I play this back, then you can hear we have those MIDI notes in our little section that we created. So you can also highlight them, just drag a little box around them and then press delete on the keyboard and that's going to delete those notes for you. Right, you can also use this little pencil tool on the side. So I'm going to click on the pencil and now you don't have to double click. You can just click, 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 click wherever you want to place your notes. So now if I play this back, you can hear we've got our notes in there. So you can also click and drag. So with a pencil tool, you can click and drag. And that's how you can create like a longer note. Or I can go back to this normal select selection tool and I can resize any of these notes. So if I want to resize this one, I can click on it and then I can just resize it like that. If I want to resize this one, make it a little bit longer. Let's do that. You can also move them around so I can click and drag. Maybe I want to put this one right at the beginning like that. And now if we play back, chaos, but you get the idea. So you can resize them. I can resize two of them at the same time. So if I select both of these notes, I can resize them together. See there, pretty cool. Can resize these three. Obviously these three are now different sizes. These two are the same size and this one is a little bit longer, but I can still select them and I can still resize them like that. You can also copy and paste notes. So if I select this one note and if I do command C and then command V, you can see I can actually paste that. I'm just going to undo that because I see it actually extended our section because we went over that one bar that we created. So I'm just going to undo that until we get back to that one bar. So let's delete some of these notes. I'm just going to delete all of them. So you can just drag a box around them all and hit 
delete on the keyboard. So let's create one more note. I'm just going to draw a note right here. And another cool thing that I usually like to do, I don't usually use the copy and paste command to duplicate my notes. I just hold in the Alt key on the keyboard. So if you hold in Alt and you click and drag, you can see it actually created a duplicate of that note. So I'm going to hold in Alt again and click and drag. And again. So you can see that's just a very easy way to duplicate a note. So you can also do this with more than one note. So let's say I want to duplicate all four of these. I can highlight all of them like that. I can hold in Alt on the keyboard and click and drag on any of them. And you can see I just duplicated all four of those notes and I can place them anywhere I want. So let's hit spacebar and have a listen to this horrible, horrible melody. Interesting. So as you get the idea, it's really, really simple to copy and paste notes and just to drag them around and resize them. Um, so yeah, you can just select all of them, resize them if you want to make them a little bit longer. So let's say we want to make them really, really short. So currently, if I select all of them and I make them smaller, you can see we can't really go smaller than that because our resolution, our note resolution is set to a 16th. So I'm going to increase this to 32. And now you can see these little blocks or this grid is half the size of the 16. So let's zoom in here a little bit. So I'm going to use these, this little gray bar at the bottom and I'm going to drag the one side just so that we zoom in something like that. And now I can select all of these notes and I can even make them uh, a little bit smaller. So I'm going to just drag them like that. And that's a 32 size. And now if we play this back, you can hear that they are nice and quick. Another quick shortcut that is very, very handy. If you want to zoom in to a specific area of your track, then you can select those notes. So let's say we, I'm just going to zoom out here like this. Let's say that was our current zoom. And now I want to zoom into this area. So all I can do is I can select all of my notes in that area, make sure they're all selected like that. And then here's a little icon that says zoom. Now, if I click this, look at this. See there, it automatically zooms into that selection, which is pretty cool. And the shortcut for that, if you point to this, it will give you the shortcut. And the shortcut is Z. So Z on the keyboard. So I can literally go, I can highlight those three notes. And if I press Z, it's going to zoom in to those three notes. So this is just a really quick way to quickly zoom into a section of your song that you want to work on. Because a lot of the time you just want to work on a specific section of your song. And yeah, just super easy. Just select those notes, press Z on the keyboard, and it's going to zoom in. Okay, let's say you want to record some notes using an external MIDI keyboard, or you want to use your normal typing keyboard to record some notes. So let's delete all of these notes. So I'm going to highlight all of them, press delete on the keyboard, and I'm going to make sure that my song position is right at the beginning and I'm going to do a pre-click and then maybe let's do a normal click as well because we don't have any other drums or any percussion currently in our song that's going to help us to keep time so that's why I'm going to uh, enable this click track and also the pre-click uh, pre for this uh, recording. So I'm going to use my typing keyboard for this so I'm going to click on keys here at the bottom and it's going to open up our on-screen piano keys and now I can use the just the keys on my typing keyboard. So now if I hit record we're going to get the pre countdown and then it's going to run through and I'm going to record some notes. Let's have a look. And I'm just going to press stop and as you saw it actually looped that one bar so you kind of just have to, you can either deselect the loop when you do recording or you can do a loop, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning and now if you play this back, 
Okay, just like a little basic baseline. So you can see, um, I'm just gonna close this on-screen keyboard, and you can see these notes are not the same size, they're kinda random, they don't really start on those exact beats. If I zoom in here, you can see that note is kinda starting just before that beat. And we're gonna talk about quantizing um, a little bit later in this course. You can actually quantize those notes to either make them an exact duration length, or you can quantize them so they start on exactly a specific beat that you want to. But yeah, more of that in a later lesson on quantizing. So that's basically how you record um, your notes using the piano roll. And now if I go out of edit mode, if I click this edit mode right here at the top, it's gonna take me out of that piano roll, out of edit mode, and you can still see the notes there. You can see there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, and I can put my play head right at the beginning. And now if I uh, play this back, let's have a listen. Okay, so our click track is still on, so I'm just gonna turn that off. So click here at the bottom, and let's just press stop. If you press stop here, your song position will jump back to the beginning, which is quite cool. So let's say this, um, this, this, this play, it. let me just zoom out here a little bit. Let's say your song play it is somewhere there, and if you just press stop, it's gonna jump back to the beginning, and looping is on, and let's have a listen. Cool, and that is how easy it is to record MIDI notes into the piano roll in Reason. And now I can obviously, you can duplicate this little bar, so I can hold an Alt, and I can just drag that to the side, keep holding an Alt, and uh, now we've got four bars, and I can play that back. Now, the cool thing is, these are all separate little sections of piano rolls. So let's say I wanna add a variation to this last one. I can simply double click on this one and it's gonna take me to that section. And now I can go and I can change some of these notes. Let's say I wanna move those two there. And now if I go out of edit mode, you can see if I just scrub this back this way, and I'm gonna do the zoom trick quickly here outside of edit mode. So I'm gonna select all of these four bars and I'm gonna either click on this button here or press Z on the keyboard and it's gonna zoom in nicely for me. And you can see there's a variation here. So this one is the same as this one, is the same as this one. And then this is the one that we modified. So this one will be slightly different. And uh, now I'm gonna right click on this one and I'm gonna give it a different color, clip color. And let's make it steel blue can choose any color you like. Now let's press stop and let's have a listen. So yeah, just a little variation there at the end. And uh, yeah, just color coding your bars or your sections of song will just make it a lot easier later on if you wanna copy and paste and you wanna kinda know that that section is slightly different than the rest. So now it's super easy. Now I can just highlight all these, hold an Alt on my keyboard and drag it out. And look at that, simple. So I can select all of those and hold an Alt, drag it out. And that's just a really, really easy way to duplicate sections of your song. So now you've got like all those bars, 16 bars. And I'm not gonna play through all of that and uh, I think you get the picture. But yeah, that's how easy it is to use the piano roll. You can also do um, something that I just wanna quickly touch on. Let's say you want to see, so let's just go into this first bar that we created, this one here, I'm gonna double click on that. And uh, if you highlight one of these notes, it will actually give you some information here at the top about that specific note. So it's gonna tell you which note that is, it's C3, and I can change that. I can click on these arrows, and it will actually tell me what note that is, or I can uh, just type it in as well. So let's say I wanna C1, it will jump to C1, which is pretty handy. And then you can also see the velocity of that key. That's the volume, basically, of that 
key. Usually if you're playing on a MIDI keyboard and it's got like a touch um, sensitive MIDI keyboard, it depends on the force you use to play that note and that will record the volume or the velocity of that specific note. So you can change it either here at the top or if I just drag this line up slightly at the bottom, you will see it says velocity. And here you can actually change the velocity of that note. So to change the velocity, you'll have to use your pencil tool and then you can kind of just drag over it. You can see there. So this one I'm going to make really soft, this one really loud, this one really soft, and this first one kind of in the middle. So now if we play this bar, I just want to zoom out here and just loop that one section. So I'm going to drag this right just I'm just going to put this on bar so it's going to snap and I want to just zoom into this section so I'm going to press Z and now if we play this back you can hear the different velocities here at the bottom or you can just select that note and you can change the velocity right here and you can see as I increase that this line here at the bottom will increase as well. It's actually easier to see if you have lots and lots of different notes. So you can either go and draw in notes like that, or if you hold in on your pencil, you can do draw multiple notes, and I can just click and drag. And it's going to create all those little small notes. And um, it's just kind of an easier way to see your velocity. So now if I expand this area, I can kind of just click and drag, and I can create like a a little velocity curve almost. So if I play this back, it sounds like chaos, but you can kind of hear the volume going up and then going down. So yeah, that's just the basic overview of the piano roll inside of Reason. I hope this all made sense. Just practice a little bit with this, create some, um, some melodies in here, play around with the notes and play around with the velocity and see what cool melodies you can come up with. I'll see you in the next lesson.